Welcome to this session about transport of integration content for SAP Cloud Platform integration. We will explain how to transport integration content across two Cloud Platform integration tenants using the Enhanced Change and Transport system. This is also known as CTS Plus. CTS Plus is actually an enhancement of the Change and Transport system for a BAP used for transporting non ABAP objects. In our case for multi-target application archives. The agenda looks as follows. First we like to explain the various options that are supported currently for transporting integration content across tenants. For the rest of the session we will focus on the CTS Plus option because here you have the full governance when transporting objects. We will first go through the prerequisites to enable the CTS Plus transport in your landscape. And then we will show you how to run the actual transport between two tenants. Let's check which transport options all exist. The first option is to simply use export and import. When you export an integration package from the workspace of the source tenant, a zip file is stored on your local file system. You can then manually import the very zip file into the target tenant. The second option uses CTS Plus to track the transport. This however still requires manual interaction to assign the integration package to a transport request. Actually, you first need to download the integration package from the source tenant in a so-called multi-target application archive. Then you need to manually attach the archive file to a CTS Plus transport request. In the third option, integration with CTS Plus is much tighter compared to the previous option. With a single click, you can transport integration content from the source tenant to the target tenant, through your CTS Plus system. When you trigger the transport from the source, a transport request is automatically created, and the archive file is directly attached to the transport request. So, Compared to the second option, no additional medium is required where you need to store the archive. This however requires additional configuration steps, which we will cover in a minute. Finally, we soon provide a transport management service on SAP Cloud Platform. This is currently in beta. The transport management service allows you to run the whole transport from within Cloud Platform only, without the need of an own CTS Plus system. As long as the transport management service hasn't been made general available, the preferred option is the third one. Here, we are able to track the changes within a transport management system, and the user experience is much better compared to the second option. What needs to be done to get the CTS Plus transport working? First of all, you need to enable the solution's lifecycle management service on your cloud platform account. The Solutions Lifecycle Management Service allows you to manage and deploy multi-target applications. In the source tenant, a tenant administrator needs to select the appropriate transport mode. Here, you can choose between the different options that we described before. To be able to transport packages, the user triggering the transport needs to have the role integration content .transport assigned. Furthermore, you need to create two destinations. One destination, pointing to the transport management system. This is needed to be able to automatically upload the content to the CTS Plus system. Because the CTS Plus system is located within your company network, this connection needs to be secured via SAP Cloud Connector. On the CTS Plus system, you need to create an HTTP destination, pointing to the target tenant. This is needed to automatically upload the content to the target tenant, once the transport has been released. In fact, you need to create such a destination for each target system. In a 3 d landscape, this would be for the test and the production tenant. Finally, in the CTS Plus system, you need to create a new transport route between your source and your target tenant. For this you need to create a new application type. You may name it CPI for instance and two systems need to be created representing the two tenants. In the diagram, the landscape and the transport process is sketched. For the demo, we assume that you like to transport content between your development account and your production account running in the cloud. The CTS Plus system is located within your company domain. 
The connection between your development environment and the CTS Plus system is secured via a cloud connector, establishing a secure tunnel. If you trigger the transport of an integration package within your development tenant, a CTS Plus transport request is automatically created, and the archive file is attached to the same. Once the transport request is released, it is put into the import queue of the production sub account. Once the import is triggered, the content is created on the production tenant. Let us open the source tenant. As tenant administrator, you have access to the tenant settings. Select the settings entry in the navigation pane, and switch to the transport tab. On the transport tab, you can see that currently none is maintained as transport mode. We like to use CTS Plus with direct access to the CTS Plus system. So, switch to the edit mode. From the drop down menu, select the CTS Plus direct option. Then click on save. Next, we like to trigger the transport. Assuming, we have our integration package tested and it is ready to be transported. Switch to the workspace by selecting design from the navigation pane. Select your package. In the package, click on the transport button. Enter a comment, and then select transport. This will create a new CTS plus transport request with the package attached. Once done, an information dialog comes up confirming the creation of the transport request including the transport request number. Open the CTS Plus system, and enter the Transport Management System. In the Transport Management System, open the Transport Organizer Web UI. In the upcoming dialog, choose the system representing your source tenant. And then confirm. A new browser opens displaying your open transport requests. We have set up the transport in this way that the transport request will be automatically released. So, we need to change the search criteria including the released transport requests. Once done, the beforehand created transport request is displayed. If you switch to the object list, you can see the integration content attached. Navigate back to the transport management system, and access the import overview. In the import overview, Scroll down to the system representing the target tenant. Select the import queue of your target tenant. A new request is displayed. Select the new request, and click on import request. Confirm the upcoming dialogues. A message in the footer tells you that the import has been started. You can open the transport request to get the transport log displayed. The import and deployment should have been successfully completed. Let's double check whether the package has been really stored on the target tenant. Open the target tenant. Switch to the design area. You should see the new package within the workspace of the target tenant. This brings us to the end of the session. To sum up. In this session, you have learned about the different options that we support for transporting cloud integration content across multiple SAP cloud platform integration tenants. You have learned which configuration steps are required to be able to use CTS Plus for transporting your cloud integration content. You have seen how the transport of an integration package runs from end to end. I hope you liked the session. Thank you.